Right, we are starting with some exam guidance. Uh, we're looking at the June 13 paper. I'm going to be, for the mock exam, taking uh, questions out of June, Jan, 13 uh, and 12, but m mostly looking at the year 2013, the most, uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, <coughs> straightforward paper and uh, one that you can learn a lot from. I'm going to look at various questions, mainly questions that are uh, six, seven marks and more, because these are the ones that students get freaked out about, and actually this is where you can relax and score the easiest marks. Remember, look at the question. Look at this question, question four. Choosing the right software to solve a problem using ICT is very important. Straight away you know you're going to have to declare software and have to declare a problem. So give an example of a problem you have solved. Well, yes, of course, they would like you to use personal experience, but you, you can use a standard answer if you want. Uh, state the software. Explain how the functionality of the software helped you to produce an effective solution. Effective solution. So, seven marks. You're going to get a mark straight away stating the software and the problem. So I would go straight for the problem because that's a personal experience and that's where you're going to get confidence from. I used database software to solve an invoicing problem. My father has a business and he needs to send out invoices and I used a database um, uh, I used database software to solve the problem. Great! You've got one sentence and two marks. Now, explain how the functionality of the software helped you to produce an effective solution. The database stores records. Each record has a unique number, which is ideal because each invoice needs a unique number. Something like that. Um, there's loads of examples. My friend needed a website designed for his horse riding uh, uh, club. And he, need, he needed a website designer, used web development software. You mustn't say Dreamweaver, front page, access. Don't say the brand name. Even I let slip the brand name. Use the generic term. Do not ever just say I used access or I used Excel. State the generic term. I used a spreadsheet package and so on. So once you've stated your software and the problem, state why it's so good. The functionality. All right, for example, uh, another example is I used presentation software to create a multimedia presentation for uh, a history assignment. I wanted to grab the attention of the viewer or the audience, so I inserted a media file. The media file was a video clip from YouTube that would grab the attention of my audience, my target audience, because it, uh, the clip has interest, it has humor. I then inserted music to play continuously throughout the presentation in the background, not to detract or distract the audience, but to capture their attention. I also scanned an image of an ancient uh, text from a museum that I was lent, and scanning digitizes text and or digitizes the uh, object being scanned and I was able to insert that as an object in my presentation. So you've got more than enough marks there already. Uh, definitely seven straight away because we talked about the functionality of our PowerPoint package. At this stage they don't mind if you use another example besides your actual project but speaking from your own experience you have solved is probably better. What's the functionality of a database package? What's the functionality of a spreadsheet? Well, you've got formulas that can add and total, and you've got functions that can do other things like average and uh, look for conditional uh, statements, if statements, that can look for certain conditions and return a value of true or another value of false. I mean, that's, that's ideal. There's two of you on spreadsheets, there's two of you on access. So there's, there's plenty to say there. I'm going to skip um, the other small marks because this is so close to GCSE stuff and really if you've done all the online 
um, e-revision stuff, you'll be fine on the, the smaller marks. This is another one that's uh, 10, I think, 10 marks. Yep, that's 10 marks. And once again, don't be freaked out by these essays. This is where you can score, not go, ooh, I don't know what to say. Look, it actually says, just reference where you have your test plan. Okay? Uh, so sample work refers to what we call the project. In your sample work, write the question number in the margin next to that evidence. So here we're talking about test plans. Test plans include tests carried out for a number of reasons using normal, extreme, and erroneous data. Wow! This is easy. All you need to do is give an example from your test plan. State what data you used. You can even state if it's normal, extreme, or erroneous. And then uh, describe and justify why you use it. Just describe what it did, what the result was, and justify why you used it. So, for example, um, I would hit them with an example straight away to give you confidence. I'd go straight into an example. Uh, the first thing I would say is, um, if you refer to test number 10, um, you will see that it is testing accuracy of output. So, and... Uh, uh, Please refer to test number 10, where I carried out a test to ensure accuracy of output, such as a total. All of you have used totaling in some way. Total that, total amounts of money, total students, whatever, whatever. You've done some calculations, all of you. Um, the data was the following. I used £100, £50, and £10. I then used a calculator to test the outcome to test the total against my database. And sure enough, the calculator said it was X, and my database says it was X. So I can verify that it was working 100%. Another one I did was uh, the validity of data on input. In other words, when I input data, I want to check that, so you're writing here another example, check that the data is indeed valid. Excellent way to check that a uh, 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 student ID falls within a range of uh, 1 to 1,000. So I entered ne uh, numbers beyond this range, 0 and 1,001, to see that it would reject this data to state it was not valid. And I entered data that was between 1 and 1,000 to check that the data would be accepted. And you've got your 10 marks. It's that simple. All right, you've got your uh, sample. Whenever you see sample work, you should be rejoicing because it's all there. You've done it, you've printed it, you are confident, you're sitting at the exam, you use it, use your examples. Of course, if you haven't printed out your project, then you might as well just pack it in and go home, but I'm sure you would have, and I'm sure it's all finished. Okay, that's the end of part one.